Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames and in this video we're gonna talk about Ye Bin snubbed at the Grammys. No, we know that the Grammys they're famous for snubbing people, especially when you don't play according to their game. But this time around, when it comes to Ye, he's been snubbed because they have labeled this man to be anti-Semitic for saying things as he sees it. Now guys, if you remember, it was just late last year that Ari Emanuel was quick to write numerous letters sending to companies, calling upon them to cut ties with Ye. Not just that, they have also changed the meaning of anti-Semitic to suit the Jewish community. Since then, Ye has lost a few business deals. And now we're seeing where the Grammys, well, they said it ahead of time that Ye will not be considered for any Grammy nomination. Not just that, even in categories where he has written song and those songs were, were performed, were performing well and was nominated for a Grammy, they said that a Grammy would not have been shared with him. And this is exactly what happened. Normally, when an artist is not nominated for any category, they would have a seat reserved at the awards with their name. And this did not happen for Ye. There was no seat reserved with his name. So he was definitely not welcomed. But guys, let's be honest. Ye West is so far the um the only male with the most grammy award right he's the top um winning grammy artist in the male category but if you guys remember back in 2020 we saw a video of you peeing on a grammy award and now this is 2023 i honestly believe that this man does not give a rat's ass about the material things of this world anymore I honestly believe so because, I mean, if you look at what happened from 2020 coming down onto this point, he really wasn't attending those show. I mean, yes, last year he was there to, you know, um, pay tribute to Diddy. But other than that, when it comes to him and his craft, Ye, just, Ye is just focusing on, you know, being that perfect um, disciple, I would say. He just wants to, you know, worship God and he wants to find his journey. So I believe that Ye is on a spiritual path and on that spiritual path is not caught up in the materialistic world as he wants used to. He's not caught up in the need of being I ranked, you know, all that media attention because we can tell based on how he has been acting when it comes to the paparazzi. This man does not want the paparazzi in his face and we have seen him, you know, getting angry about it times and time again, so much so that he most recently tossed a paparazzi's phone. So saying that to say this, I believe that Ye West is just done with the industry when it comes to, um, you know, being praised for the work that you've done. And I've even seen Eminem talking about the Grammys. We've seen Nicki Minaj showing us how corrupt Grammys can be. Listen, Nicki Minaj has never won a Grammy and I don't think she will ever win one as long as she lives because those people have a personal vendetta against Nicki Minaj. And when you look at Beyonce, Beyonce has never won album of the year. Can you believe that? And it's becoming such an outrage to people that many people are just done with the show. Many people believe it's overhyped. Many people also believe that you have to be paying high price, having high connection to get what you truly deserve. And I don't think that any artist should be going above and beyond in order to be recognized for their craft. I believe that you should be awarded and recognized according to the work that you've done. And as such, I believe that Ye is just done with the industry as it is at this moment. And that is what he wanted to bring awareness to. And as such, they tried to cancel him because of him bringing awareness to the corruption that exists in the industry. So guys, 
I mean, it's no surprising. And we know that he doesn't care about these things anymore. So that's all I want to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about Ye being snubbed by the Grammys. He's not the only one. Megan Thee Stallion also was not nominated. And again, Nicki Minaj as per usual. So I want to hear from you. Now, while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care. And remember, if you haven't subscribed as yet, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay sweet, and stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.